Do not put anyone on a pedestal. You are the queen of your life. You are the king of your life. And don't let anyone in your life feel like they complete you. Nobody completes you. You complete yourself. You feel like you don't deserve more. You just feel like you deserve the bare minimum. Someone is showing you the bare minimum and you're attached to that because that's all you think that you deserve. When you have the poverty mindset, you always feel like, well, I can just manage. Baby, you should get to know me. Tevin into that good energy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to detach yourself from any relationship you find yourself in. One thing you need to understand is that you are so powerless when you attach yourself to people. You do not have power. You lose a lot of control because now the person has more control over you and now you don't know what to do. But in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys tips and tricks on how to detach yourself from any relationship you find yourself in. Thumbs up this video. Make sure you comment down below more ideas that you want to see on my channel. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I know you love my videos and you like seeing my beautiful face and yeah let's get into it first tip is do not ever put anyone on a pedestal do not ever feel like anyone is better than you anyone is more amazing anyone is so great for me I always when I start any relationship either friendship or a romantic relationship I do not put you on a pedestal I do not make you feel like or make you the center of my life or make you the high almighty of my life I do not do that for me I always put myself on a pedestal for me I I am the shit. For me, I always say to myself, I am the best. I am amazing. I'm great. I put myself on a pedestal. I don't put anyone else on a pedestal that doesn't deserve to be on a pedestal. And even if they deserve to be on a pedestal, I do not put them on that pedestal. Because one thing about human beings, no one loves you unconditionally. And no one loves you so much that they're willing to sacrifice their life except God, okay? And your parents will probably do that for you. So when you start any relationship, any friendship, do not put anyone on a pedestal. In your mind, make them feel like they're like so special, so amazing amazing. No one deserves to be on that spot for you. You need to understand that people add to you. They add to your value. They add to you. Nobody completes you. If anyone is in your life right now and you feel like without them, you're not complete, then that person needs to get out of your life or you need to pull yourself away from that person because you should be whole. You should be happy in your own right, happy by yourself without anyone else in your life. Anyone that comes in, regardless if it's a boyfriend, if it's your parents, they do not complete you. Okay. They're just an add on to you. And if those people leave your life, you should be okay to stand up alone by yourself and be perfectly okay. A lot of times the reason why you, it's hard for you to move on is because you put these people so high above you, so amazing. You feel like you put them on a pedestal that it's just so hard to put them down when they disappoint you. Do not put anyone on a pedestal. You are the queen of your life. You are the king of your life and don't let anyone in your life feel like they complete you. Nobody completes you. You complete yourself. Another tip is for you to accept change. Accept when things change. Some people come into your life and they have their season and every season have its own time. Seasons do not last forever. As you can see, we're now in fall. Fall is going to end soon and winter is going to come. Everybody that comes into your life is for a season. Even your parents. Your parents are going to die and they're going to leave you in this world by yourself or you might die and leave your parents in this world by yourself. Every relationship is for a season and you should be okay with change. When change happens, it's okay. That means you're growing. That means things are happening in your life. Things are moving, either negative or positive. When change happens, when people go in and out of your life or go out of your life it's okay it's okay to understand that change is embedded to happen it's okay for change to happen when friendships end that's okay that means that person's time in your life is over now it's time to create a new chapter or open a new chapter in your life now it's time to make new friends now it's time for you to meet new people for me i always get excited like when friendships end i'm like oh okay well now it's time for me to start a new chapter in my life of course it's sad and i'll mourn some friendships i'm so sad like oh my god i used to talk to this person all the time however because I'm always ready for change and don't mind things changing in my life. I'm always excited to start a new chapter in my life. I'm always excited to start this new boring phase of my life when that friend is not around anymore. Or say if somebody move out of state and I know, okay, that friend is not going to be around. We're not going to be hanging out as much. Okay, that's a new season for me to start making new friends. So it's always good to accept change. Accept when things end and when it's time for you to move on. Most times you're detached because you're not accepting change. You're not accepting that that person is out of your life and it's time for you to create room for new people. When it start clicking in your mind that it's time for you to move on and it's time for you to create more room for other people, you're going to stop attaching yourself to people. Something in your brain is going to click automatically and say, okay, well, it's time for me to move on. And you're not going to be attaching yourself to people that don't deserve it. Another tip is to stop creating expectations in your brain or in your mind whenever you start a new relationship. Do not have any expectation for anybody. Even your parents that give birth to you, do not have expectations for them. Even your children don't have expectations 
expectations for them. We're human beings and we're meant to make mistakes. So don't have expectations for anyone. Don't start a new friendship and you just expect A to Z. That person should do this to do da, 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 da. Even when it comes to loyalty. When you start a friendship, don't just feel like, well, that person is supposed to be loyal to me. I've had friends for over 10 years that last year is when I realized they were not loyal to me. And that's okay. That's time for me to open room for new friendship or new people that are going to be loyal and honest and give me back the same friendship that I deserve. So don't take it personal. And the only way you can stop taking it personal is by not having any expectations from anyone. Even when you start a relationship, when you have a boyfriend, do not have too much of a high expectation for him. Of course, you have your list and you have things that you do not compromise on. That's totally fine. Okay. But I'm talking about expectations that are just like fantasy. You feel like, well, he's my boyfriend now. So he's supposed to buy me flowers. No, he's not supposed to buy you flowers. You can buy yourself flowers. That's not his job to buy you flowers. Like ridiculous expectations. Of course, he's supposed to be take you on a date. He's supposed to be romantic. Those are basic things that comes with the package of having boyfriends. But like those tangible things, those extra things that he maybe he don't like buying flowers and you expect him to buy flowers, you're going to be disappointed. And most times we create this fantasies in our heads and we think it's reality. It's not reality. Stop creating expectations for people. When you start any relationship, do not expect much because when you don't expect much, you're not going to be so attached to the person whenever they let you down. And you're not going to feel bad when they let you down because you didn't expect much anyways. And most times because you have these fantasies in your head and you have this expectations in your head, you are attached to that fantasy, not really reality. And you are attached to what could be and not what it is. So stop creating these expectations for people in your head. You're going to have a much peaceful life, a much amazing life when you stop doing that. Another reason you're attached to people is because you have a poverty mindset. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the sense of lack. You feel like you don't deserve more. You just feel like you deserve the bare minimum. Someone is showing you the bare minimum and you're attached to that because that's all you think that you deserve. When you have the poverty mindset, you always feel like, well, I can just manage. Well, it's okay. Like as long as you give me the bare minimum, then I could just stay there. No, you deserve more. You deserve something so amazing. Someone is showing you the bare minimum. It's not giving you anything and you just stick in there. You're just staying there and holding on to that thing and just attaching yourself to that person because you feel like you don't deserve more. Let me tell you something. When you leave that person, I promise you, you're going to find something and someone so much more amazing, so much more gorgeous, so much more beautiful. You're not even going to remember that you were part of this ridiculous circus that you're in right now. So trust me, get rid of that poverty mindset and always feel like you deserve more. You do not deserve the bare minimum or get out of the sense of lack. You deserve abundance. You deserve greatness. You deserve amazing things. And when you have that in your mind, I promise you, you're going to stop attaching yourself to people that don't even deserve you. You keep going back to that ex-boyfriend and you hoping and thinking that he's going to see you. You're, you're seeking validation from people that don't even care about you. That man is not going to see you. He's not going to change his ways. He's not about to change anything because you're not changing anything within yourself. You keep repeating the same patterns. So guess what? He's going to keep treating you the same. Nothing is going to get better. That relationship is not going to change because guess what? You're not changing either. So if you keep going back to your ex, you keep sleeping with that man and you know that what you want is not what he's giving you. You keep attaching yourself to that friendship. You know that friend keep disrespecting you and you keep being friends with that person, guess what? They're not going to change. They're not going to stop being disrespectful to you because they don't think anything is wrong with it because you're still there. So the best thing you can do is get out of it. Get out of that sense of lack. Get out of that thing in your mind that keep telling you, well, that's all I deserve. No, you deserve so much more. You don't deserve a disrespectful friend. You don't deserve a friend that talk bad about you and always jealous and always talking crap about you every time you walk out of the room. You don't deserve that. You deserve amazing friends that would cheer you on when you're not even in the room. You deserve an amazing partner that loves you support you and literally is, is your number one cheerleader. You do not deserve lack. You deserve abundance and greatness. Okay. Keep repeat that. You deserve abundance and greatness. Whenever you say that in your mind, keep saying that abundance and greatness. And trust me, you're going to leave that situation that you're in. My last tip is having gratitude. You need to look around your surroundings. Look around the people that love you, people that support you, people that are cheering you on. Appreciate the little things and the little happiness that you have right now. Don't just always focus on the people that don't choose you. The reason why you're attached to people and the reason why you cannot let go is because you're not grateful about the other things and the other amazing things that God has placed in your life. You keep focusing on this one person. You keep going back to this one person because you are not appreciating every other thing in your life. When you start appreciating those things, I promise you, your focus is going to switch. You're going to start thinking about more amazing things around you. You're going to start going around people that love you the most, people that support you and people that are cheering for you. You keep going back to that bad friend because you do not appreciate that other friend that you might not talk to every single day. But every time you have an event, that friend shows up. Whenever you need $100, you can call on that friend. Focus on those friends. Focus on those people that really have your back, that really love you, that choose you. You need to start choosing people that choose you. Stop choosing people that don't choose you. You are attached to that 
person because you know in your mind that if you let go, they're going to let go too. Let them go and be gone. Like again, I keep saying this. If that person doesn't serve you, you should not be in that situation. Choose people that choose you. Appreciate the people that love you and the people that are around you in difficult times and make sure you choose them too. People that choose you are the ones that you should be choosing. Don't go around calling that, that friend. You know, don't like you like that. As jealous of you that talk mad crap about you. Do not surround yourself with people like that. No matter how much bags and shoes and clothes that you buy, you're not going to be happy until you start choosing people that choose you. When you start choosing people that choose you and stop being in this bubble of something that you're not, I promise you, you're going to let go of all the toxicity in your life and actually live your best life. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up this video again. Comment down below more videos you want to see. Comment your favorite part of this video that you enjoyed or something that you're trying to change. If you're going through attachment issues and you also want me to extend and talk more about it, let me know down below. For part two, if you want me to do more tips and tricks, I'll be more than happy to do those videos for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.